everyone, so this video is going to be a how I dye my hair at home. I get loads of you asking every time I mention in a vlog or something that I've dyed my hair, loads of you want me to do a video on it. So I thought this time I would do a video on how I do my hair at home. I do tend to switch it up each time I do my hair, just depending on how I'm feeling. This time I used a company called eSalon. I ordered it on the website. So what you do is you go on the website and it has a questionnaire, loads of different things about your hair. So whether your hair takes colour well or not, how long your hair is, what colour you want your hair to be, what colour your natural hair is, like loads of different questions. And then you can upload up to five pictures as well. I just uploaded one. And then you have like your own personal stylist and they will custom mix your hair dye for you. So they have a look at your pictures, all the info you submitted, and they mix together the colour themselves. If you've got any questions that to us so it's kind of like having your own stylist but on the internet and they like mix your hair down everything for you so it's kind of like the salon experience without the salon each person is obviously different and each mix that they make they make everyone's mix separately it's all tailored to you so it's not just like you grab one off the shelf it's like they look at your pictures they take into account the history of your hair and then they mix something together that is going to work for you they take into account like how well your hair takes color how much product you've had on your hair before like how often you've dyed it whether you've got gray hair loads of different like the questionnaire is really good because it kind of covers everything they keep like your history on file so if you went to continue to use their um products and their service they will already have on file your history of hair and they will keep on file all the orders you make so they can kind of tweak it so if you decided that you wanted more of a red in your hair i wanted more of a black blue and all that kind of stuff they can like go back in your history and see it so it is like having like the salon stylist but on the internet so it's professional like salon professional grade hair product that they actually use it comes with a stain guard which is kind of like a little bit like Vaseline and you put it around your hairline so that if any hair dye gets in your head you just wipe it away and also a stain remover so if there's any bits that you accidentally manage to stain which I managed to do every time um there's a stain remover as well which I thought was really good like when are other like at home kits going to involve a stain remover or at least a stain protector it also came with personalised instructions. The whole thing is like personalised and I just thought it had some really nice touches to it like on the bottle of hair dye it actually had my name on it and then like um, when you open up this is like really nice paper and, and on the back it says prepare for Rosanna Pierce and it says hi Rosanna at the top and all the instructions are personalised to you so for me I wanted a root touch up and kind of like a touch up throughout my hair um, like a refresh throughout my hair so these instructions are for that so they're like based on you know what it is that you want from your hair dye so everything about it is personal from like the stylist is personal to you and they get the right hair dye which is specifically for you and then they give you your own instructions and it's all very like personal I thought it was really good it was just a really nice touch have any questions that you want to ask your colorist about you can just email them um, or ring them they're really easy to get in touch with and you can kind of get in touch with them anytime you like ship it within three days it does come from even though you can buy online and it is um like in british pounds and stuff it does actually the actual hair dye comes from la so it can take a little longer to come um but the one of the things i really liked when i saw when i was like checking out is that there's like two options so you can either just like buy it just like one off or, because it asks you how often you dye your hair as well. I dye my hair about every three weeks, my roots. Then it would send me one every three weeks because it knew that I'd need to dye my hair. I just thought that was so good. So it's kind of like a subscription service. But if you just want to buy one as well, you can just buy one. I'm really impressed with the whole service, to be honest. The, it came in really nice packaging. It was all personalised. It was like nothing I've tried in hair dye before. They were kind enough to give me a discount code for you. So your first order would only be £7 instead of 14 So it's 50% off, which I think is really good. I spend more than that in the supermarket on it. But make sure you click the link down below, which will be in the description box, which will be a link to that. Overall, very impressed with it. I really liked the hair dye. It turned out really well. My hair is super shiny, um, which is always good. I have just curled it, but it's really shiny. I was really impressed. If you want to see how I dye my hair at home, then just keep watching. So I just wanted to first show you how it is all packaged. It's so nice. I just had to show you the box before we get into this. So first off, I am taking, obviously, the actual custom hair colour and also the developer. I'm mixing them in a bowl together. You can just use the bottle that the developer comes in. I prefer using a bowl um, and a tinting brush. So you want an old t-shirt. This is my brother's, don't tell him. Um, and the first thing I'm doing actually is putting, I've got the gloves on obviously, and I'm just using the stain guard all around my hairline. And also I like to take it like on my ears and down the sides of my neck as well, wherever I tend to get hair dye, which is normally everywhere so it does have instructions on how they um, suggest you do it I just do it however I always do my hair so I start in the middle part obviously I'm only doing my roots I start with the middle part and I just get all my roots 
And then what I do is I work my way down each side. So I'll start with one side, then back to the middle and start down the other side. So I'm just gonna let you watch this bit. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. So then, as you can see, I'm moving over to the other side. I just use the end of the tinting brush just to kind of section off bits of hair. You want to take it quite thin so that you don't end up missing patches. And then I'm taking it, making sure I have it all around the hairline. Now, my hair sticks, like black sticks to my hair really well. So I don't need that much of a refresh throughout the rest of my hair. But I just take whatever's left and I just kind of distribute it evenly throughout my hair. And also what I do is I massage it really well into my scalp just so that I haven't missed any patches because I've done that before where I've done all my roots and then when I've been styling my hair or whatever, I have like a big blonde patch at the end. I left it on for 30 minutes and I use their deeply invested hair mask and also their perfect and in leave-in conditioner. So that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out the link down below. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.